going? What? I can't tell you where we it's going. We have no idea. We hope you knew. Who we were. We, yeah, we need some ideas. We we're out of ideas. I doubt that's true. So share with you. I, you know what's funny? I don't know off the hook. I like that. I like that way of looking at it. But we just tried to say that Molly's off the hook. You know, that the show is moving in a different direction, a whole new world, kind of. But that um, Molly is sort of like in her warrior mode, and she's got nothing left to lose. And so we get to explore a whole side of her that, that the show didn't look at last year. It looked at her more in the mom mode. And so now we're looking at her more as like warrior. She's Cassandra. She knows something very bad is happening, and nobody will believe her. And so just that energy... Uh, to try to save the world, that's that's sort of how we looked at it. Yeah, we wanted to we wanted to really hit the ground running and, and, and shake things up in the first episode. And so when we meet her, she's in this recovery center that's you know a little bit almost like a you know a mental hospital. Uh, and and she's suffered all this sort of traumatic loss and, and these different things that have happened to her. And we double back and see how she got to that point. Uh, and then while she's in this recovery center, she 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 starts to see that there are these strange, these mysterious deaths that are happening, and that maybe they're tied to what happened to her in space. But because of what happened to her, uh, because of she's in this questionable mental state, nobody believes her. And, you know, and so she sets off on trying to, to to dig into this mystery, and it puts her in the path of Jeffrey D. Morgan. And and, um, and so it, so in terms of where it's going, um, you know, she's going to get the answers that she's seeking for, and it's going to lead to some some big revelations about herself and and. Um, and the son that you know slipped off into the night uh, with the Good Samaritans, and, and um, so yeah, as Craig was saying, it's it's much more in that warrior mode of like this fight for survival that's going to push her to some new and provocative places. And, and I also think what we said is, look, there's only 13 episodes. We got to have big twists. I mean, <clears throat> I love that. I think viewers love that. So we're gonna we have big moves every week as huge. Revelations. It's not one of these things where it's like, you know, the information is dribbled. Out. We're going to show lots of, we're going to turn, oh, thank you. We're going to turn lots of cards every week as we get to the big finish and reveal, A, what's really going on, and B, the, the, the thread that holds it all together is what happened to John. How did he die and why did he die? And all of that mystery is going to be uh, played out across the season. <laughs> you know, the interesting thing about JD is you know, they're they're completely opposites. She's a scientist. She's an astronaut. Somebody with you know dual PhDs. He's a guy. He's a cop who a little bit of the uh, cop of the future. Very much like a, a guy who works on instinct and works by the gut. Used to people lie into him. Uh, we talk about them a lot. It's like Redford and Dunaway. You know, three days of the Conjurer. Two totally opposite people. Uh, but who need each other? She needs an ally in this fight, this thing that she's trying to, to, this mystery she's trying to dig into. He needs to solve his case, and so that you know, that mutual need pulls them together. And I think eventually, you know, he's going to see some stuff. She's going to turn his world upside down, right? And uh, he's going to be forced to to face the fact that 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 the the world, the universe, is not as he as he thought. Right. Before. I think also to that to, to that question. One of the things we wanted to do was make Jeffrey Dean, make JD, us. You know, the one, the person who's not going to go, oh, okay, there's aliens here, I get you. We're going to be skeptical, and we're going to need some seriously hard proof before I'm going to sign up for that. And that doesn't happen instantly. That takes a few episodes for him to get there as he slowly begins to understand that she may not be crazy, that there may actually be something to what she's yelling about. And uh, I think part of that, part of the fun, is him coming around to what she's selling. It's something that the show didn't have last season. There wasn't, like, just an everyman character. You know, they were like astronauts and, and a brilliant roboticist and, and Japanese billionaire businessmen and all these sort of like extraordinary figures but there wasn't somebody in the middle of that saying what the hell are you talking about aliens you know and, and so he really gives us the opportunity for that I was wondering if it would have a more of a thriller element uh, because the two would be kind of on a hunt so would it be more high speed than like because you said other yes. things in the first season Show, the, the show is definitely a high speed pretty much throughout the season. I, I, and and I would say that the, the, the thriller elements start in the beginning and, and and drive us all the way to. And 
you know, the benefit of having 13 episodes instead of 22 is that you can set up these questions and, and, and answer them fairly quickly and, and, and move on to the next big part of the mystery. And, uh, and I feel like we've done that really well this year. And so we've been able to, to keep up the pace, but do it in a way that, uh, you know, that's going to feel a little off the hook at the beginning, but hopefully it feels organic and natural to the stories we go through. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> well, let me just say, we just finished shooting season two last Wednesday. I need to lay down somewhere for like a month and then begin to think about where season three might go. We have kicked around some ideas, mainly ideas that we almost used this year and then kind of got pushed aside onto another board, kind of the season three board. I don't think we really have a set idea. Uh, not really in the no, show. No, I don't. There's not really a true. Well, we did what we, you know, in the first season we wanted to tell a self-contained story, so that at the end of the at the end of the season, you know, you never know when you start like these summer shows. We were meant to be a limited series. We didn't know if we'd come back, so we wanted to make sure it was satisfying to audiences who stay way through. <coughs> and we right. kept that same idea this season. So, so it's its own self-contained story. There's a big blockbuster finale. And then we're going to leave just a few threads open that you go, oh, right. okay, I can see where this is going to go. Right, or, or I wonder where this is going to go next yeah. year because something, a few, yeah, like little threads are open-ended. Yeah. Can you briefly talk about the parallel journey of the hybrid child versus Ethan? Because those are pivotal characters. Those are what? Pivotal characters. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they, they, that was really the big question of the first season, like when are those two things going to collide? Are they... They seem like disparate storylines in a sense of the artificial intelligence and um, and the extraterrestrial. And in fact, a lot of like even the very first days I went out to to, to um, pitch the show and sell the show, a lot of people asked, "Why did you why did you put these two storylines in?" And to me, it was always about uh, it wasn't about those two things. It was about this family, and it was also about how human beings adapt to survive. And so that. Within those two, um, Ethan and the offspring, we get a chance to see, to ask those questions about what it means to be human. Uh, you know, uh, do you have to be human to have humanity? And those, both of those characters are prisms that we can look at that through and and, and ask those questions and play them out in a dramatic way. And uh, and and safe to say that those two storylines continue to to uh, collide and influence each other as we go along. That was well said. That was Thank good. You. Yeah, that was a good answer. I will say that that line is definitely moving. I, I without giving away too much, <clears throat> I will say that it, especially in terms of the alien sun, where that's going will surprise you. It is surprising, and it's not where we start in the first few episodes. It it really does turn into something that you probably can't predict right now, as the relationships uh, evolve and as more and more hybrids are appearing on Earth, more are being born. It changes the whole dynamic. And um, it, around the middle of the season, things begin to shift rapidly. I, I, it, it's hard without giving it away. How much of Mrs. Spielberg you Well, actually... Did take a look at the editing? Yeah, we, on the first few episodes this, uh, this season, we get notes on the scripts and on the edits and the cuts. He was a lot more heavily involved in laying out the foundation of the show in season one. Um, in the conceptual, a lot of the design stuff, the, uh, the conceptual work, the stories, um, sort of all the way through with this. And then he went off to, to direct two movies back to back. So we're still, we have his company, the, you know, the, the folks who run his company, um, and we hear from him through them and, and you know, continue to guide and, and, and shape our stories. And I, I, what would you say? I would say that also like his, his sort of DNA is always a part of, of what we do. It's that spirit is always a part of what we're, the story we're telling. Yeah, I think, I think his, like his, his grounded classic sci-fi stories are always with us, like emotionally, you know, Close Encounters, and E.T. and the issues really involved in AI, all these things. I think we're, we're talking about these things all the time and his take on them really is wired, his DNA is sort of wired into our DNA now. It's interesting how that happens. 